The FBI right now is keeping close tabs on possible security threats leading up to Inauguration Day. This after the riots at the Capitol last week. Investigators say some extremist groups are moving to secret online channels calling for violence in Washington next week, while others are attempting to coordinate armed protests at state capitals nationwide. But despite best efforts to remain hidden, counterterrorism experts are closely tracking a number of threats and they're doing so through online message boards. So tonight we take a closer look inside the process to prevent a potential attack. Tuesday, federal authorities updating on what they call an unprecedented investigation. And so just the gamut of cases and criminal conduct we're looking at is really mind blowing. Figuring out who was involved in the terrorism at the Capitol is priority number one for federal investigators. We're looking at and treating this just like a significant international counterterrorism or counterintelligence operation. And it's not just figuring out what happened last week, but also sifting through active threats. You can imagine what social media looks like right now, and that creates a challenge, figuring out what's a real threat and what's not. Who knows who's going to just stay in their living rooms and, and mentally support this, but who's going to take it the next step, like the people in D.C.? Doug Coons is a private investigator and former FBI special agent. A little bit of everything over my 20 some odd years, but I would say primarily national security. He says with an inauguration next week, the focus would be on making sure there's nothing close to a repeat. I, I think they will probably err on the side of caution and provide ample resources. I would hope so anyway. Meanwhile, members of Congress say they've been briefed on an increased threat for the inauguration. The National Guard is stepping up security with at least 10,000 troops expected in D.C. by Saturday.